motive. Through your travels, you have done many things both honorable and dishonorable. You have killed in the name of honor, but also killed in the name of cowardice. You have ignored those for whom you feel sympathy, yet you did your part to kill the ones that are cruel. You have used the greatest love you share to gain an object, yet mutilated that same person to gain another. I realize that as you had approached the other holders, you have made few decisions of your own. Otherwise, you would be dead, insane, or suffering eternal torture at this point. Many times, you have even suppressed your innermost feelings and emotions to gain an empathetic holder's approval. Everything you have done up to this point was shaped by the will of beings of greater powers, not by your own will. Let me change that. Seek me out however you wish. It does not matter where you ask, nor does it matter who you ask or for whom you ask. If you carry the badge of the observers, your best chance would be to ask your allies for my position, as nothing escapes their master's eyes. Once you find me, I have no physical test to put you through. I have no reason to care about the limits of your strength, your athleticism, your endurance, or your resolve. Feel free to look around as much as you want. I will be sure to remove from my chamber anything that could potentially drive you insane at first glance. I wish to know something about you. Something buried deep in the recesses of your soul, and I need you to be alive and sane to tell me. All I ask is this. What is your motive for collecting the objects? To reunite them, to protect them, to destroy them. I do not care for those answers. That much I will already know. You are not the only one who can access the great observer's memories. I want an answer that cannot be easily observed, one that you probably do not yet know yourself. You have heard the tales from other holders. These stories have moved you, given you a larger perspective of the true nature and true power of the objects. After hearing these, your motive has undoubtedly changed from what it was at the start of your quest. As you contemplate your motive, you will notice that there are people in the room that were not there previously. Your best friend, your lover, your mother, your father. Everybody you have ever come to know and love. They already know of your quest. Many of them will likely beg you to stop. Some of them might be in deep shock from learning of what atrocities you have performed. But along with me, all of them eagerly await your answer. Just as I do, perhaps even more than I do, they wish to know why you have chosen your path. Do you wish to avenge those whose purity have been defiled? Do you intend to use the object's power to conquer the unbearable solitude of death? Maybe at this point your quest is nothing more than a mindless obsession. I do not judge. No answer shall be deemed incorrect or unworthy as long as you firmly believe it to be your true motive. You may not leave my chamber until I have your motive, however, and I will know if you are lying. If you cannot figure out why you seek the objects, or if you are too ashamed to bring yourself to say it in front of your loved ones, then you may be stuck with me for a long while. Once you have found your true motive, 
recite it to me with confidence. If I am convinced, then your trial is over. Your loved ones will each offer you a parting message as they disappear. You will not see them again until your quest is over, but worry not, for they are safe with me. When the last one has vanished, you may take whichever item you desire from my chamber and leave. It matters not what item you take. I will not miss it. This item is the 499th of 538 objects. All was once set in stone, but that stone has since been shattered. You may very well still have a chance.